everybody. I'm Swami here. Today we are going to see warehouse management basics. SAP warehouse management basics. So what is warehouse management? It is storage of material in a systematic way. So where a company is having a complex inventory, inventory storage, they use warehouse management. So here we, I have shown you in a di diagrammatical way. Here, WH1 is a warehouse. Inside the warehouse, it will be a storage type. ST1 is the storage type. So inside warehouse, storage type will be there. Inside storage type, storage section will be there. Storage section will be there. Inside storage section, bin will be there. Bin 1, bin 2, bin 3. In the bin 1, bin 2, bin 3, material will be stored. So ST1 is storage type. What do you mean by storage type? For, for the best example is high rack storage type or bulk storage type or uh, goods receiving area or goods issuing area are the storage types. And storage section. What do you mean by storage section? Fast moving material, slow moving material. So those are the storage section. SC1 is a storage section. So bin is a small area in warehouse. It's the smallest available unit. It's a unit in warehouse. So it is stored in slots. So material will be stored in slots. So bin 1, bin 2, bin 3 are the slots. So where material will be placed in the bin. So warehouse, inside warehouse, storage type, inside storage type, storage section, inside storage section, bin. So that is warehouse management. In a complex warehouse uh, inventory management, they use warehouse management. So we are going to see how we are going to place in, place the material in the bin, bin one or bin two or bin three in SAP system. I'm going to show you in the SAP system. I'm going to create a purchase order. Go to ME twenty one M. It's an integration. Warehouse is normally very closely integrated with material manage. So I'm going to create a purchase order. So I'm going to buy a material from a vendor and place it in the warehouse. Enter the vendor. Double zero three six eight. Purchase organization is triple two, triple one two. Purchasing group is triple zero. Before that, we have to make a small configuration settings in SPRO. SPRO. SAP reference MG. Enterprise structure. Assignments. Logistics execution. To assign warehouse to plant storage location. Inventory plant is triple one two, storage location is triple one two, warehouse is A double zero A zero three, seven and come out. to create a purchase order. Can me 21 years. Enter the vendor. This is a jack industries. Enter purchase organization. Purchasing group. 
enter material 1587 is the material which is configured with van hose so quantity is check quantity is 9 Is purchase order quantity is nine. I'm going to create. Uh, I'm going to buy a material from the Jack Industries. Circuit board from Jack Industries. So enter the plan. Triple one two. Enter storage location. Triple one two. Save it. Check and save. I'm going to save it. I'm going to buy nine quantity of circuit board from Jack Industries and place it in the bin, bare hose bin. This is the purchase order number. This is the reference purchase order. So take this number. I'm going to do goods reserve. Upon doing goods reserving, transfer order will be created directly on the background. Go to Bigo. I'm going to do goods reserve. Automatically, transfer request will be created. Based on the transfer record, we are we we create transfer order and confirm the transfer order. So place the material in the bin. So we have to confirm the transfer order. The reference to purchase order. Enter the purchase order number. Okay. Now, item OK. Item OK. Check and post. Post. Or save. Control S. Save. Actually, there is some problem in the system. Right of OK, save it. Let me check it out again. This is the PO number. Yes, there is a problem in the system. Right of OK, save it.
this it has got posted so 65 is the material option number let's go on display go to the display mode 65 is the material option number so here go to the warehouse management tab and you see storage bin is purchase order number so this is the purchase order number which is stored in this storage bin tr number is that is transfer request number is 45 so 45 is tr number transfer transfer request tr is 45 now i'm going to check it up where was storage type is 902 storage type is 902 check it in warehouse go to lx03 i'm going to check it in warehouse storage type is 903 executed and check it Nine zero two, sorry, nine zero two. Where was it? Execute and check it. See, this one is the purchase order number, and it is stored in this bin. It's a temporary bin. Now I'm going to confirm it in the in the bin. Go back. Go to slash and lt zero four. I'm going to create tr transfer order to. TR number is 61, 61. Order, and I'm going to convert transfer request to transfer order. I'm going to put away in the bin. Press enter, enter, and save it. Place it in the bin. Then I'm going to confirm it. 71 is the T1 number. 71 is the T1 number. 45 is TR. Now, LT12. You see confirmation. 71. Enter and I'm going to go to turn this destination 0302 02 02. 03 02 02. This is the destination. This is the destination. This is the destination. Now save it. Control S is save it. I have confirmed the material. Now LX03 and check it. Go to LX03 and press execute. This is the warehouse number A03. Zero three hyphen zero two hyphen zero two. Zero three hyphen zero two. Two hyphen zero two. See here. So it's been placed in the in this bin. Nine quantity is so warehouse management is closely integrated with material management. What I did is I have created a purchase order. Purchase order. Purchase, I created a purchase order. PO. I did goods versus GR based on the when I did do the goods versus. On the background transfer request is created and I did transfer order and confirm transfer order. Confirm transfer order. Here in LT12 transaction code LT04. So it's created automatically upon creating GR.